big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy E C E O, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad who are going. Man, hey man, check it, man. Look out, man. Uh, these two right here. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, I did my thing. You know, I really don't just see them on set with each other. Yeah, I did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing right now. And they got the boss talk shirt, so it's going down, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> Check it out, man. Ronnie and Ronetta Spencer is in the hey. building. What's the deal? Man. So, yeah. What you think I ought to ask them? Because I want to ask, like, when's the last time y'all been on the set together? I got to answer that. Last last interview. Last mm. interview we did together? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm, I don't even remember. It's been that long? It's been a while. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I had done something special. I said, I'm getting both of them on my show. <laughs> but y'all have done one together, right? Yeah, we've done yeah, a couple of them did. together. Yeah, but it's been a while. But it ain't been, been like the boss talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't been like the boss talk. It's like the one man. Thank y'all so much, man. It's, it's low key, like home. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny how it happened, man. Because when I met you, you said you got to meet him. I said you ain't lying, nigga. <laughs> right no, get him here. I want him here today. Yeah, you can't do it today. Well, get him here tomorrow. You got to get this nigga down here. Here. And we made it happen, man. Thank you so much. Thank both of y'all, man. Love y'all. Oh, I just want to say that on this platform, right here and now, me and my wife, man. We thank God for bringing y'all in our life, man. Thank man, you know what I mean? Y'all, so. y'all like y'all our family. Man, you know uh-huh. remember, remember that day when we left her and we went to the chicken house. We made the pack Stop right then and there. Chicken and pack. We got some chicken <laughs> together, yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> hey, you once tell we me that chicken was off the chain. That's it. Like yeah. ain't no going back. Once you, yeah. once I eat chicken with you, you in the family. You <laughs> So, so I, I, I want to get this story now because, you know, a lot of people have heard the story about Bar Baby from one perspective, but I get to hear it from two today. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Bar Baby thing, man, was big, was huge, man. Uh, uh, you being, how old were you again? I'm going to see was, if she's going to tell the same thing because my boy is here today. So I was six when I recorded it, seven when it released. And just the fact that you were able to cause at six and seven, you know, that that's a place where you very, very protective over what you let your child yeah, do, right? Exactly. So <laughs> so just I mean, you know, the the, the to to can you just, Renetta, walk us through that a little bit? Like, was it some things that you was like, do you remember? Because yeah, when I was young, you I don't remember nothing. I don't yeah, I remember the whoopings I got. I remember them too. <laughs> 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 they wasn't whoopings They were spanks on the bottom That's all that. <laughs> I didn't get too many of them either I was a pretty good kid Oh really? I was a shadow I just wanted to follow I threw she a couple her, of temp see, she, she knew her daddy hit hard So she didn't She didn't, she didn't want that yeah. you, Were you scared smoke? of your daddy One hit growing up? Over. What? I think daddy was scared of me What? You were tough like that? Yeah I was tough I still am tough <laughs> So tell me about it How was that That just That 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 night was it night was it morning when you went it to was the a night it okay. was a night um i think you got the call from no d or was it d rick i got the call from both of them wow and uh all i remember was being in the bedroom and him telling my grandmother that he was taking me to the studio so i i ain't really care after that when i'm gonna go to the studio grab a couple of barbies and i'm gonna go to the studio like, wow I'm a big girl and you ready yeah i was ready. so you weren't sleeping were you sleeping he woke you up no. Not not really. She played with Barbies play at the time. We had to really just take my away from her. That's the only wow. way she Well, either I got kicked out of my own room. So when you <laughs> took her to the studio, did you know that you were going to do that with her at that time when you took her? or When I took her to the studio, I didn't know what they was, you know, what they okay. was planning on. What you just like to have her with like you all the time? Oh, yeah, she, she's, yeah, I mean. that was my baby, you know, I was dad and mom, so I had to take her. Yeah, no, because, you know, grandma Shut was there, so you could have actually left her and say, hey, I'll be right back. No, no, grandma, no grandma was like, mm-mm, that's your responsibility. You oh, take care. Oh, I taught oh, you how to take I care of whatever that. you need to do. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be back and call me when you get that and call me when you're on your way back. And she used to tell me, you make sure you be, you better behave. Yes, oh, ma'am. okay. Wow. And, and and so you, do you remember being in the studio, like, doing it? I remember sitting on some phone books because I couldn't reach the mic. And my daddy had to lay a dummy track for me cause to, just to make sure I hit the notes. Wow. Man, that's crazy. And and how long ago was that now? How many Man. years? 
Mm, that's well, been I'm finna be 30, 20. so. So about 25, 20, yeah, 20, 20, 24. Yeah, because I put, we put one day out in 96. Okay. So it's. And Bar Baby was out in 2000. Because it just yeah. had an anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. Right, because you just went diamond on that. That's 10 million yeah. souls. Oh, man, yeah. that's, that's fly. I just did that. 10 million? 10 million souls. How does that make you feel? And, and how do you, uh, what do you think? Wish. Yeah, because people yeah. still streaming that song uh -huh. even today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's one thing when somebody say, oh, you a platinum selling artist. But now you're in a different stat, a diamond selling artist. And it's RIA8 certified. So mm. you can go on the website and look it up. Wow. That's a, that's a blessing. That's a big blessing. Cause they, Especially that's for a, my age. That's, that's an elite uh, uh, crowd, a crowd of people. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody don't have that. Mm -mm. It's hard to get that. It's very hard. Mm -hmm. you and got because some you started so even, young. Yeah, you see. got some people do it in a day. Yeah. Some people take years. Yeah, some, way people it goes. some people it. do it in a day? Yeah. I'll put it like Michael this. Jackson like was Michael Jackson, Janet, wow. Jay Z. I mean, but let me, let me Eminem. Just, and, let me say this, though. Tupac, all of that. Was you at the rodeo? Um, I didn't go this year. You didn't go with them? Uh uh. Hmm. Was there another? I, I think she had another event. I had a show. But yeah, was there uh -huh. enough? But but I was saying that to say, would there have been another diamond artist there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Who? Um. Bombi. Bombi. How many? How many of them was? Was it a lot of them? Or just, me? How, how, yeah, you. Oh. Um. <laughs> Um, I'm just showing you how, how it was I'm a bunch say, of people I'm there, say, but I'm everybody ain't flip. no damn diamond artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> well, actually, no, that is true, because, I mean, yeah. Flip just redid one of his songs with uh, Jenny right. Aiko so, and Tiger. I'm going to say Flip. Really? Yeah. yeah, Sunshine, so Flip. Uh, he redone that? Yeah. If I'm he not for, if I'm not for mm -hmm. sure, I'm going to say Kiki. Um, he was Pokey. there. Pokey. Does Slim Thug have one? Yeah, Slim Thug. Slim Thug, yeah. yeah he Pokey did that for real movement. Million. I know he did. Uh, Pokey just reached 10 million yeah. on Sensei. Mm. That's yeah. crazy. Within weeks. I'm Within say, weeks? Within weeks. <laughs> I'm going to say Paw Wall. I'll, it's pretty much. A lot of them. Yeah, a lot of so them. A lot of the was, ones that were there because it was an elite yeah. crowd there. Because you know, yeah. Diamond, it, it counted streams too. Right. YouTube. But yours was different. Yeah, mine was CDs. Mine was mm -hmm. truckers. Yours was different. <laughs> yeah, mine was over the counter. That, it wasn't, that's it, sound yeah. wave day. You that's had to wild. Go, yeah, mine had a barcode. You had to go buy it. Because it took longer yeah. to get to that status back then mm -hmm. compared to now. Mm -hmm. Right. It gets there quicker now. Yeah, now because they just, Cause if it's you look digital on, counts now. Right. right. Because if you look on YouTube now and look up one day, sometime and it say 54 million screens, just type of stuff like that. Really? 32, mm -hmm. yeah, you just look it up. Did you ever look on your dad and say, thank you for, you know, giving me the opportunity at that age? All the time. All the time. I mean, I don't, started me. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I must be getting old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she always, she always. So hold on, hold on, Thank hold on. You, go, I was about to say, go ahead and do it right now, so you have proof that you did it. Uh -oh. Thank you, Dad. Oh man, For that was touching, me. man. <laughs> to be what I am now. You, you are more. You no, know, I show, show me you. you no, know, she show always, she always <laughs> talk good, and she's always thanking me for the, some of the things that I showed in the music industry. That so. you still show me, cause you, you still be showing me, still be I getting kinda, on me. Kind of let her go now, and let her go and do her own thing, and so she can learn more about it herself. Uh -huh. and so if she makes uh -huh. some. I mean, be like, uh, you need to make sure you perfecting your skill, and you need to make sure your craft on point still. How is those, how does those calls make you feel though? Like far as now, I'm grown now. I still mm -hmm. got. I just yes, sir. I'm working on it. That's what, what I'm you talking got about. Going on, what you got going on this month? Uh, yeah. I send it to you and Bishop and let you, and we have a group message and, and really? I send the shows out to him like this is what I got going on. Oh, I'm gonna be at this club. I'm gonna be here. I got this interview going. It's on. Like a check in. Yeah. So he yeah, because know the, where we the are. reason why it's dangerous now. The yeah. music game is not like it when I was growing up. Is is these cats is you know they. Everybody packing a gun now, so you know. Everybody got anger issues. Everybody got anger issues and road rage and the least little thing. And we, to say we they ran into that. What? You know, we. Yeah. We, so. What the we, heck are you talking about? <laughs> we ran into a situation where I com it op it was mm -hmm. an eye opener and I completely understand. You had some road rage issues? Nah, it wasn't a road rage. It was club rage. It was club. Oh, and it got bad. It yeah, mm -hmm. it got it got bad pretty quick. And that night I was like, yeah, I see what he's talking about now. Like I can't, I can't be in these yeah. situations. So yeah. she have to have a guard with her all the time and where she go pretty much when it's dealing with studios or performing 
are just going modeling. People know who she is. You of know. course. Yeah, because modeling, modeling more dangerous than music industry. Right. Wow. It's a lot more dangerous. So I've kind of eased up on the modeling. Um, I'm more of an influencer now, so I don't do too many shows, too many um, photo shoots. I got one photographer that does all my photo shoots. So yeah. We don't, we don't do that. We've had girls. We've heard horror stories about girls that's on the same agency that have dealt with issues in modeling. So I was like, you know what, I, I'm a mama. I can't put myself in a, in some type of situation where I can't go see my daughter. So. Well, you got to think about that girl. It was a girl down there that recently, within the last few months, that got killed. And, you know, they, they, mm -hmm. they found out the guy that did it, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it was something to where, you know, they didn't, it, it was unexpected, you yeah, know. Yeah, because some of these photographers are low-key infatuated with the girls. Right. So they just mm -hmm. going buying camera equipment just to get you in an apartment or a loan just to take a picture and really don't even know what they're doing, but they just want you there in that setting. You right. got to be careful. If stuff you like say right. no, and I, it's I, a mental thing. I caught it from the beginning, and yeah. I would tell them, you know, that's my child, you know. If you my husband the same way. feel Both like you're going to do stuff. anything <laughs> inappropriate, that's it. you, you got to deal with me. Yeah. And he's like, well, no, no I'm just telling you. Or with my husband, he, we'll gotta be in the car it, and we'll be on the way and he get a weird feeling or as he say, God be talking to him, you turn. We ain't, ain't going to do it. We ain't going. I mean, and most of the time, it be some And drama. you don't even question it because you already know. Uh -uh. Yeah, because I most of the time, it be some drama. I just, all right, well, do I need to text him and let him know? No, nah, I do it, but we not going. We going home. Yeah, I don't, It's something wrong about the whole situation. And they'll call me immediately and say, we're not doing it. We're Going to the house, we let you know when we get there. It's been like and that with clubs too. We'll walk, we'll, we'll get in the parking lot of the club. And my husband and my daddy be like, "It's one way in, one way out. Let's go home." Even if they book you, pay the pay you with all that. of that. Have all that back. Well, see, with 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 my deposits, I, I always make sure that I tell them, you know, they're non-refundable. But you need to tell me how this club is, because I'm a female. I'm not no man, and I'm a tiny female, so I need to know. What the situation is in the club? Are we in the hood? Are we not in the hood? I need to know these things. And it, low key, it don't even matter if you in the hood, because I done done clubs in West Timer, Upper West Timer, and it's just as bad. And I had to call him and be like, Daddy, one one time a guy was just he just came to the club and pulled the AR out, and we had to figure out how to maneuver out of the club. It was me, my dad, my husband, Bishop, one way in, one way out. And I don't like those kind of setups. Yeah, that's not good. That's not mm -hmm. good. Not good at all. Because yeah. it's pretty much telling you, well, there's going to be some drama here because all it's the gangsters drama. is, you know, and the women in Houston is just as gangsters as the men. So <laughs> they, it's, they the coldest crazy, ones. So. They'll, they'll uh -huh. set you up. They'll shake your hand and, and you walking into a club not knowing that you you're going to get set up by this female that just shook your hand and giving you encouraging words. Wow. As a matter of fact, on that sub on this subject that we're talking about, we just did a, uh, a show with Flip. Not knowing that we was gonna do the show, you know, flip surprises, and we, you know, and I happens to bring my sister. I met your sister. And Flip told me, he said, "Well, you stay back here with me. When I come on, you can come on up. With me, you, and David Banner." I said, and I'm okay, standing cool. on the stage right there by. So, so they let picture. my daughter come on up. So she's standing by the stage where she should have been on the stage. Mm. And then my sister was there, you know, by the stage. And, uh, you know, David Banner, when he do his shows, he like to jump in the crowd, get the crowd hype. That's his thing, That's you know, his and, thing. It, and it's real cool when he do it. And Flip rapping, he rapping. So we all this, I hear all this screaming and hollering. And I'm like, what's going to say? That automatic made me look. And when I look, I know David Banner is not in the crowd. So I looked again. I go my sister fighting a girl. Mm. I go Ronetta fighting a girl. And this other girl flew over Ronetta and hit my sister. Ronetta flew over <laughs> her and hit the other one. So I told her, I, was, I gotta get off the stage because so my yeah, people, you know, that's out the my club people. In the back. So they didn't want to put me off the stage. They said, no, we kind of, so I jumped over. Yeah, walls. he jumps over the stage. Like, and it's a big you know, drop. <laughs> I dropped over the stage and I grabbed my daughter and I grabbed my sister. And it happens to be two HPD officers that I knew. I said, man, just make a way. Let me get my people out of here. He said, okay, Ronnie, we're going to do that. So, And I got him out. Well, this lady followed. So the fight You're talking the yeah, one yeah. that was fighting y'all. The fight persists outside. She was outside. fighting two girls. <laughs> Ronnie was fighting two girls. My sister was fighting one. You're so one. little. 
and I got the lady silver back hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this lady just followed me and my she sister out the club. Outside. So I told her, I no said, look, we're not on. in the club now, no ma'am. Nothing. I don't like hitting women, but I'm going to slouch if you come over here. You need to go back in the club. You know, and police come seen it. And then they told her husband. So now he Sunday. come. Yeah, he come he in the truck. He want to fight you. No, nah, he don't want to fight me. You want to fight who fighting us. In his mind, I'm in this truck. Yeah, Whoever hit my wife and my father-in-law, I'm going right. to run him over. He, he, you know. So, <laughs> so we was his like. His husband, Devontae. We was oh, like, oh, oh, we got to go. We got to go. Both of them got, you know, licensed to carry yeah. their weapons. So we they kept him in the truck. and But when he come, he ready. You know, mm-hmm. he ready. Now run that already. She got her stuff. So I'm ready. telling my sister, let's roll. And the girl that's fighting y'all, is this one girl? Man, these, these it was seems, women. Yeah, women. these was women. They were bigger yeah. than what, I was. What, okay, what started the fight in the first place? Well, because you don't. don't the lady, I'll be the lady. With, I don't even know. All I saw was hands being thrown. Well, well, this what, this what started it. I tried to break it up, break it up, and with me breaking it up, it escalated, and I got hit. Well, well, well this this what started it. Got, the female come to my it. sister and grabbed them both her hands. For what? We don't know. We don't I don't know. know. All I saw was her hands, and she kept pushing my so my sister. Ma'am, let my hands go. What are you doing? And she was she black pushing. or white? They, black. they were both black. black. Yeah, everybody okay. was black. And one of them looked like she was a huge. giant. My she God, looked she like was, she was seven, two. She was big. She was big. Yeah. Like, so it was, it was crazy. Flip and David Banner had no idea what was going on. They were still performing. Damn. Actually, no. Flip did. Flip Flip knew because the next day when I went to the studio, he told me everything come in threes. I don't even want to talk about what happened. Just, are you good? And I was like, yeah, I'm good. And he was like, all right. Let's let bygones be bygones. But when a show, when you on stage doing a show, especially if it's not your family be in the fight, yeah. show goes on. You yeah. got to oh, just keep oh, going. The club was packed. Flip, it was, they was yeah, doing their thing. You right. know, it was a line. It's because the only reason thing. you stopped because that's your I daughter and your, that's and your sister. Niece. So I didn't care about the show. I, right, I, you know. and you know, I actually saw Flip as I was leaving. Um, I saw him, and he stopped me, and he was like, "Are you okay? Are you good?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm good." He was like, "Okay," and I was like, "I'm not coming yeah, to the Flip studio tonight. Like family, so. <laughs> I've been gone." <laughs> yeah, so that was, that's what we that's did. That's crazy, man. You know, I guess it's the life y'all chose. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna be funny. It comes with it. It comes with it. It comes with it. You like that, that club? club. Club, it was it that that life. <laughs> Man, it was that club. I so mean, you'll never go back to that club? It's not that I will go back. It's they when I go back, I make sure it's secure to that. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, any Sorry. club that you, you know, I done been on tour with a lot of these guys. So anytime you get into an alteration with somebody, uh, you're going to, you know, you can go back to the club because it just makes you open your eyes and say, you know what, we need security if I go back there. So mm. you don't forget what clubs that you didn't have a fight with, a uh, no, uh, you know, uh, uh, shootout or somebody get killed with it. So when they say, "Hey man, we're gonna book you for this club," okay, well, then okay, I need to okay, have I need bring security. Security with me. That's the yeah. only way I do the show. Y'all gotta beef up y'all security, and I'm gonna bring extra security. Mm. Wow. Let me ask you something. We go to back to the music. Y'all had a song uh, I listened to it with my wife before we even met both of y'all. I know this song. Mm-hmm. And this song was so live that my wife, she was like, we, fed, we listened to that in, we was in Long Beach. In, yeah, in the East It was only Texas. our 20. Yeah, that's the one. Don't be acting like we ain't done a bunch of songs. I want to hear y'all do it. I want to hear y'all do it live. That song right there, man, had my wife tripping. Oh, man. I know. Daddy, can you sing me a song, please? Yes, I can sing your song, but you got to promise me that you're going to go to sleep when I finish. Okay. Ronetta, Ronetta, Ronetta. Ooh. Ooh. And so she kind of remember it. That that that's something that man, I you know, I should have did a song. My daughter, I always <laughs> like, I got two daughters, man. You nigga, I'm it ain't too late. I loved it, man. I love mm-hmm. that, man. That that you guys in history go down, man. Run in, run out of you named her. You named her. 
Actually, me and her mother named her. No, you know, it, it's got your but, name all over. Well, <laughs> actually, <laughs> literally, literally, it's half and half. So my mom's mm-hmm. name is Janetta. Oh, oh. we just kind of squashed it. That's cold. Mm-hmm. My name is Ronnie. They got creative. That was, that's very creative. Mm-hmm. Actually. Her mama just said, just name her Ronnie. I said, no. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, she told me about that. Nah, she, Ronnie be, Jr. Yeah, was supposed to be Ronnie. I said, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. Uh, we just put your name on it. She said, well, Ronetta. I said, cool. Like, That's lie. You lucky that they didn't have some crazy names to put together. Like, Because some like people do that. Like Kevin and Anna. <laughs> Kevin or something I like that. I know. People do that. Mm-hmm. It's like you lucky. Renetta is a mm-hmm. even when you look up Renetta, there's a lot of Renetta. It's a out bunch there. of them too, Daddy. Mm-hmm. And we didn't Not think so. Supposed to be mm-hmm. rare. I, yeah, I thought, <laughs> you know, I thought it was you know it's rare. rare. But then uh-huh. I got to thinking, I'm like, wait, well, I was in the shopping center, and this lady said, "Run out and get over here." I said, "What, my baby?" Used to be, what? <laughs> wait a minute, hey, my baby. Your this, baby named Renetta. Uh, yeah. I'm like, your name Renetta? She said, "Yeah." I say, "My daughter named Renetta." She said. Oh, that's the first I heard. I was saying, it's the first I heard. That's crazy. <laughs> Went to middle school with a girl named Ronetta Smith, so she was a troublemaker. Shout out to Ronetta Smith. She doing <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, they went by initials in middle school, so RS. So they used to call my grandmother and my aunt up to the school all the time. Skipping, she's skipping class, and I'm sitting in history class. But it was Ronetta Smith instead of Ronetta Smith. Wow. Um, man, um, did, when did you realize that, like, your dad, like, man, a lot of people rock with him and that – Middle school. It, you 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 knew it. Middle like school. this is a little different. Yeah, yeah middle school because well, I went to a private school for elementary and then I switched over to public school and it was a whole another ball game. Like yeah. people would Google was a thing. And we had to switch <laughs> over because you know when you go to private school they teach you a certain way, but when you go to a public school that's they the real the deal. Life. That's the real yeah, deal. deal life. You got to deal with it. So she kind of got a the best of both worlds and she's doing her daughter the same way so that's why that's why so when you think about like uh just um in the future will we get any more music uh from both of y'all yeah. anything else yeah we we got a me and ronetta got a lot of songs together that we just hadn't put out why well we you know timing. It's, it's timing everybody's I'm tired of y'all in this timing thing well, i'll everybody. tell you i'll tell you why why timing is important I went on a, a binge of pop and house music. Really? And at the time, nobody was listening to pop or or house music that hard. Everybody was trapped. So, you know, it would be dumb to put that out and you lose money because mm-hmm. ain't nobody going to buy it. Now that house is becoming popular, EDM and all of that stuff, this would be the perfect time to put it out because okay. it's in that market. Because mm. it's totally, these songs is totally different. You wouldn't even think that men and her would do something. Yeah, like we're changing our voices, I'm different cha- languages. Animated, I saw different languages. Like, yeah, yeah, she can sing in reggae like it's nothing. Remember, he said that last yeah, time. Yeah, but I've never heard it. Oh, well, talk to me in like the, you know. So I have an aunt. Her name is Aunt Allison. Hi, and Miss I used Allison. To mimic we love her. you. I love you so much, Aunt Let me see how good your accent is. What's She's up, from Lino? Trinidad, so she used to always tell me, yeah. Uh, you know you're being real bad today in school, and I'm not going to tell you this the same. I've been telling you the same thing all day. You're messing with your hair. You're, doing, you're just doing crazy. Look, look, look. If I tell you one more time to go and sit down, if I tell you one more time to go and sit down, I'm going to get the shoe, and you're going to understand exactly what she, oh, oh my God, bump, clock. The, the, the stuff is, you know what, you just, I can't do it today with you. You, you just go sit down. Go do your homework or something. And if I do your hair one more time and you mess it up, I'm telling you, I'm going to count to three. And when I get to three and you're not listening to me, when I do your hair, I'm not doing it no more. You're going to go to school looking like a fool. <laughs> that would, that's what she used to talk to you. That would be Miss Allison. I love wow. Still to this day, she get on with like that. Too. I just be laughing and smiling. What'd you say? Say it again. <laughs> Man, I mean, you know, like, I love to see y'all together, but man, like I said, I love this music, man. God has blessed y'all, man. Do you know how blessed you guys are? Yeah, that 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 you're it. able to not only have done it, but been successful at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that people know you guys it's, and, it's and respect you guys it's in the industry. The music game is momentum. a hard game. Yeah, but they respect you. Can't take yeah. away what you've already no. paved. Yeah. So however hard it may have been, 
You guys are on a level that people like. I had shows here the other night, Shout and out to I, I, I putting you on. You you've been on my platform a lot of times, but I to talk yeah. about you bridging the gaps and y'all ages and just the way the music. Did we talk about that the last? Yeah, time? I, and I talked about it to other people after you left. You got to think about it. You got from yeah. B King to everybody coming through here now. So you know, it's like dang, you know, like I just look at the way that. The old deals versus the new, and I told her last time, like mm -hmm. you were part of both of it. Yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you from the old and the new, and you the bridge. That's what I told right. her. Right, and she was six years old doing it. Yeah, all yeah. the way up to the days. They said a lot of people don't know Ronetta was a big star. Four, because I did. I, I recorded Ronetta when I was four. No. Uh oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Recorded, you recorded when you were six. Yeah, I thought you said Ronetta. six earlier. No, she not Barbie. Not Barbie. Ronetta. 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 Yeah, you did. I think you did. Yeah, because Ronetta was before Barbie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I That's just hadn't put it out. So out she was. See. She did. She's right. She recorded it at four. I and it's just like her little daughter right now. She's singing. That's what now. I was wondering. I'm like, okay, how old is your daughter? Where now? she is? She's about to be four. She yeah, four I was about to say, when you getting her on on a track? We working come, come, on come it. Come, we come over here. You want to tell them how you... Hello. Lift her, you lift her wow. up and put her, put her, her in your lap. Put her in your lap. Beautiful. Now, this is the third generation. How, how, did, how did it make you feel, Ronnie? Oh, man. This is... <laughs> You know, they he, said he I wasn't going to spoil. That's they, daddy's they, twin. They said they, I wasn't going to like it. You know, everybody said, oh, you're going to like it. And I said, oh, I'll be all right. And then the more that I looked at her, the more I was falling in love with her. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to be a G, like they say, you're, you're a G, Paul. Yeah, ESG. That's yeah, shout ESG. out to ESG. You're a G, you're a G, G Paul, Paul now. Said, no, 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 you're a G, Paul. You're a G, Paul. So I said, so what the G stand for? You're a gangster, Paul. You're a G, Paul. So, <laughs> gangster, Paul. You know, ESG is a comedian. I love of him. Of course, yeah. love him. He's been on there. Shout out to ESG. I hope everything's going good with your brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. He's love that guy. He's right now, man. Yeah, I know. So, right. you know so. I hit him up all the time. He came on the show after y'all, too. Yeah. And he did such a good job, oh, man. Yeah, he Oh, he had me going. He freestyled in this thing. Talk so about the man, I'm she cook for him too. I'm we cook for to. ESG, but you know ESG is really a comedian. He, oh, he's funny he, as ever. Yeah, I mean, he's off the chain. Love him though. He, so can you tell? You gonna him, sing us a song? Can you tell him what you are to me? See, listen to the. I'm your granddaddy. I'm your granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. That's not great. You see, you man, see. you know that's beautiful, man. That's how she started to sing. And that's how she started. Mm -hmm. And you kept her going. You kept her going. And, and you know, when Ronetta had her, when she come out, she hit a note. I knew that she he could, recorded. That, that, that <laughs> I knew she was going to sing. Everybody else in the hospital looking at me crazy. Oh, no, that baby cried. So, no, that baby hit a She note. didn't cry. That she was a she, no. She never, she never cried as a baby. She did yeah. silent cries. Like yeah, she. My brother in law would come and people around. Hey, y'all, baby in there crying. And he'd be like, "What?" It was like a whisper. But then when she finally just started getting the lungs, yeah, Mariah Carey ain't got nothing on my baby. Mm. <laughs> Love you, mm. So she ready. I think she's going and she's trying to model and she said she's gonna be a race car driver like her dad. So she. She's, she picked up her dad's side and picked up my daughter's side. So she's beautiful. She's, she's going to do it all. How the car sound when you're driving? My daddy did that. How your daddy <laughs> car sound? Tell him how your daddy car sound. It comes louder. It sounds it. louder. It sounds louder. It sounds louder. She get in the car with me and she'll make fun of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, oh, I, said that's, I told my sister, I say, she gonna be a race car driver. She wants to be a drifter. Man, she watches everything he do and everything my daughter does. So. He fix cars. She's out there with him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Probably can tell you. You ain't put on TikTok. Yeah. So oh. she did her first TikTok video um about two weeks ago. Okay. And within two hours, she had twenty five thousand views. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. She's a star. She yeah. character. Yeah, I saw I saw them over there. It looked like she was trying to record a um, TikTok or doing something because she was in front of it uh -huh. and she over there dancing. And I'm like, she looked like she was doing a TikTok. Yep. So you want to say Boss Talk 101? Yeah. Can you say that? Go up to the go up to the mic. Go Put the mic, the mic down to her mouth. Say Boss Talk. You can move the top down. Talk. Tilt it. Hey. Boss Talk. Hey. Say Boss Talk 101. 
Buff talk. <laughs> one oh one. Buff talk. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. on Boss Talk 101. No, you should sing Boss Talk. Sing it. Sing Boss Talk. Hey, sing <laughs> Boss like Talk. Sing Boss Talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, I love it, so. man. Man, it's, it's dope when you got family, That's man. You know, family know. is so important, man. You know, the love, you can tell, man, y'all are loving family ever since I met y'all, man. Coming to your house. Coming to Big Pub Studios. Yeah, y'all went to the house with that. But, but we did go to you the studio. You weren't there. You were supposed to be there. We went to the studio with you earlier. I let it slide. <laughs> so, uh, how has it been? You still at the studio with Big Pub? So, I have fulfilled my contract. It was a one hour oh. deal. And, um, I still, I'm still in touch with all of them. They like big brothers. You can't get rid of them. So, so what do you do now? I'm independent. I want to see what their independent money takes. I like. thought you had. Didn't you do a song with Rick Ross or something like that? So it was with um OG Money Mike. OG Money Mike. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and how uh, how did y'all set that up? I think it was my husband. I mean, that he get to run in his mouth to people, and then all of a sudden the money <laughs> start coming. So he um set that up with Sean Solo, and me and OG Money Mike been cool ever since. I wow. think I think she did a song with Snoop, if I'm not mistaken. I'm really? Sure. No, it was a video. Was a video. I shot a video. a video. Video with Snoop. Yeah, Dogg. video with Snoop. How was that? That was that was amazing. How did that happen? Man, he's so. He, my husband <laughs> talking to the right people and wow. I got booked for that. Um he's so humble and just a all around genuinely great guy. Like it was no big headedness. It was it was nothing. Like he welcomed us in with um when I say opening arms, fed us Popeye's chicken. Hey. No one's like, eat chicken with you. Yeah, fans. yeah, yeah. I had already, me and your dad ate something together. Oh, a lot man. of it. <laughs> no, I ain't forgot. It was, it, was a, it was a great experience. They treated us like. They came to Houston? Yeah, they came to Houston. Okay. Um, they had a charter bus for us. It was a bunch of girls. I made the cut. Um, I did. Oh, so you like, had to audition? Yeah, didn't even know I was auditioning. I was just going in being cute and a little big headed. And I was like, mm, you know what I mean? We snoop, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, ended up actually meeting him towards shooting the, the last scene. And he was like, why y'all just sitting there? Y'all ain't going to come get no pictures and chop it up with me? You ain't got to tell me twice. Yeah, yeah, come. That's Let me get right. my phone real quick. It is charged. I've been waiting on this moment. That's right. Took a selfie with him. And I told him, I said, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to see me again. He said, yeah. I said, yeah, I just did a song with Daz Dillinger. He said, oh, that's his cousin. Did? Yeah. I said, yeah. He said, that's nice. I said, and also, I'm about to play you a song. I you did with my before? daddy called Big Bad Wolf and we want you on it. Did he know that you sang Bar Baby? No. Nobody knew in there except for Trey the Truth because I ran in the tray in the elevator. And he mm. was like, Spence, what you you got going on and I was like hey Trey and he went that way I went that way it was just it was a great how experience. long was that how long ago was that oh my baby had to be one years old so it's been what mm -hmm. two years three years you like mm -hmm. and you enjoyed oh that. that's the time I bet you I enjoyed it it was it was strictly modeling business but mm -hmm. you know I, I, I sang so you so didn't I sing to, in there I had to slide in you know yeah, this the song yeah. to, what did he say me. he was like this you Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. I said, yeah, and you're going to be on this song. He said, word. Damn. I ain't going to forget. We're going we to run into each other at these Grammys one day. It's how that song come on. Do y'all remember the... Cat commercial. The cat commercial? <laughs> yeah. We got to do it together, okay? One, two, two. three, and... That's the way that song come on. Yeah. Wow. I had to animate it my voice. And we, and yeah, all we had to. We That's had to wild. Some, we had to do some voice changing. And so and when I come on, song. she's actually going to be Little Red Riding Hood in this Daddy song. Daddy going to be the Big Bad Wolf. And me and all the other guys that's rapping, we're going to be, well, I'm trying to save her, really. But the other rappers are the wolves trying to get her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she come on with her rap, and she talk about how... The wolf trying to He's kidnap trying to, me trying in a red Cadillac. Now, since you put me on the spot, you got to put on the spot. Yeah, let's get it. So she can hear, so you can hear her verse raw. 
Let me hear your verse. For the Boss Talk 101 101 world premiere. For the family out here that's listening to this. Now, who said Renetta was afraid of the big bad wolf rolling down the boulevard, Miss Red Riding Hood? All good, swagged out, the princess is here. Beast mode as I throw down and switch third gears. No fear, I'm here, ever so clear. The sexiest combination, the fairy tale flip. Now switch. Heads up, the wolf's coming out. Miss Red Riding Hood about to stop. My, oh my, what big arms you had just to grab. Miss Red Riding Hood. And throw up in the back of the lag, but the big wolf got it like that. Now I'm all looking back, no frown, just running back. Man, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, you know, when you talk about Snoop and you said three or two, three years ago, I thought about um, that's the time when I saw him with Southside Shorty. Uh huh. I'm like, that's the time when he was in Houston because yep. I remember that, Houston, that video. Heavy. Yeah, the, the video was with his uh, She off the chain. The I want to see her. Artist. Hey, she act just like she act when she was. Man, new. look, this is every day. Go to your, go to Where your. Where can I find her? Your friendly neighborhood, Timmy Chan. Timmy Chan. Timmy Chan. Really? She gonna always That's be Timmy Chan with her boots and her purse. I'm and trying she to get her. Be there. On, on I want to get her on Boss Talk. Shoot, she. We're gonna, I'm, next time I go there, if I see, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get her, give her the information. And if you talk to her, I'm gonna call you. Yeah, if I call you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you talk to her right there. Live. Exactly, exactly. She do it too. Cause she she did some stuff with Snoop, so mm-hmm. Snoop Snoop said she OG to him. I remember so. that. She got a whole makeover by Snoop. Mm-hmm. And the baby still still got her purse on her boots. <laughs> and I mean, she just down to earth. Everybody loving the hood. Yeah, she. Wow, when you um when you think about the music scene in the H Town area, you know, I had B King on here the other day. And uh, B King, King was, he, yeah, he was he was that guy, man. He had me laughing. I was mm-hmm. I was tripping off of him because they so they so they Houston, but they the new wave, and uh-huh. they they be it's talking deep. like, yeah, you know, I came with something different, and yeah. I mean, I, uh-huh. I love the way they they they, but they love Houston. But I'm gonna tell you something, man. Y'all believe it or not, Sauce Walker is probably to me the new. The, he might be new Boy. at what he's doing. But he sounds, <laughs> he sounds, he got the Houston sound. Yeah, he he got the he Houston still, sound. When I hear he's his so tonality, yeah, yeah, you mm-hmm. know, like you can hear it in him. Like mm-hmm. I, I can hear it in him. But right. like the other ones, like the Chos, they doing something totally different. Yeah. I'm being real mm-hmm. to me. Like the Chos sound. always been different. By my ears, him and B yeah. King, theirs is totally. They over there with both of them. They throw it in the game, he, though. I like he, them youngsters. Yeah. Both of them youngsters throw it in the game. He got a brilliant yeah. mind. I yeah, just talk about them because they just left the show, both of them. They and just, so you know what's and what crazy? they do, they take you out of your character. And, yes. And, and before you know it, the song is jamming. So they're yeah. real good about that. You know, a fun fact about B King, that is how I got all my followers. Really? Yeah. I was um, recording a little, you know, Instagram video back before reels were a thing. And I was singing, you know, one of his songs before I got into work. And I tagged him in it. And he reposted me on his page. And the next day is how I got to, mm. like, 6,000 followers. It moves you quick. Move me quick. And so you're coming from you what? for that. How I much was, did you have before? Shoot, I probably had, like, about maybe maybe 749. Because mm. I was new to Instagram. Mm. And it piped just you because up. of him, it that's piped how you I up. got my Instagram hype. It piped up. He always wow. been super humble. Like, always have been. And speaking of Instagram, I mean, I... I mean, I like Instagram, but you know, when you get to a certain age, your eyes <laughs> bad. You ain't got time to look at that phone. So I be on it, man. My daughter, she she him. hounded, Bishop hounded. I mean, all everybody around me, they just grab my phone and just go to work. Because, mm-hmm. you know, Facebook so is another check for me. Instagram is another check. It mm-hmm. is. And I get my checks faithfully on the 1st and the 15th. So I got to keep, you know, posting. But you don't even post every day because I be looking at your Instagram. All you post it take is one viral TikTok and I'm good for the month. <laughs> No, yeah. okay. That TikTok take you places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she Who paid the most? Thing. TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook? It depends on how many. I'll be honest with you, Instagram paid the most. Really? How? I heard Facebook just real? pays more. Well, how? Instagram is Facebook. They they <laughs> both do. I know, but, but it's just a lot of people are saying Facebook. So no, they combine like Facebook and Instagram combines the um residual, so yeah, Facebook you know, is really, Facebook residual, is really residual. running. That's what I, that's the thing, because you know what? I had a um Old comment the, I had a comment the other day on a post and it's like people feel like what internet people get is not called residuals so I even I even asked money them, so is so, money I said well, what do you call it then if that's not residuals and residuals is only for the movies and so forth what is Let me tell you when they continuously yeah. get paid over streaming on a particular post if over a period of time if it comes direct deposit 
and it's got that decimal and that dollar sign, that is residual. That might be coming from the people that ain't getting the residual. <laughs> <laughs> That's money. And look, I use that you to, buy, to right buy that here. Range Rover I said. I gave them the, this is, I get paid from Instagram and Facebook. They accepted it. That's income. Yeah, hey, that's nice. That's income. Mm -hmm. That's very that's nice. Dope. So, what, well, you you getting into? You want to get into any film, movie? Oh, I I did two movies already. Let's talk about it. When, um, when I did the thirty third part too. I was a little bad. Was you on there, ghetto girl with the brains and glasses? The, the the new one or I think she got a spanking in that movie. So did being I bad. Yeah, yeah. No, I, they took the popcorn away from me in that because I was like talking about you know. Yo mama got a yo mama got a boyfriend and he be in the house every weekend. What you know about a boyfriend? I like Lil Bow Wow. Lil Bow Wow yeah. gonna be my boyfriend. That's what she like, said in That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and when she came home, mama seen him spanked on the bottom. Uh -uh. <laughs> like it was just acting. It was Grandma acting. didn't play it. She <laughs> and then I did another movie, American Dreams, with uh Mike Jones. I sang the national anthem in there. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. Shout Man. out shout out to D Rick for that. Both of those movies. I interviewed him and they did a, they just, they got another movie about to come out. So I was supposed yeah. to be in the um the newest thirty third. Yeah. I just interviewed the him. The day of the audition, guess who I was? Where? Here with y'all. Hey, yeah. that's a good thing, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's boss it. Talk boss one talk one on one, one, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She was right here deep. But I, was right I, here. I came down and interviewed D Rick about that movie and they they doing a premiere. Showing next week, I mm -hmm. believe they asked us, but I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna be able to make it because my daughter got something here. My yeah, son, I was here with y'all. Man, man, that's good to see what it. Are what you happened? gonna go? Probably, probably. So, are you? Um, do you remember performing down there when y'all blew them people hair back down there downtown Dallas? But they did not know that was about to happen to them. That they was, all went crazy. That was amazing. Man, y'all killed city. that, bro. Like, How was it? You perform everywhere. How was, that, How was different that different from any other time you performed? Because it was an intimate setting. Intimate settings, and when you have a band, say. you have Live more control. Yeah, you yeah. got more control. Yeah. It's, it, that, so that was the easiest. The hardest was American Idol. Yeah, tell them about American Idol. Yeah. Actually, she won American, American Idol, Idol was but scary. Hold it on. had to be Which, 16. Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm like, what year? Yeah. What, you mean she won? Yeah, she won. It actually won it, but... You have to be 16 You're back about she, then. She got nominated but to go, go right? No, no. no she I actually went. won it. She did it. Yeah. She actually but won it. They it's supposed the to have checked your, your, your age you know, and They all did, of that. But, but this is what happened. The reason you done they the didn't, whole thing. You, I didn't see so you on it's, TV. It's, it's yeah. pre-recorded. Uh, it's pre-recorded. I have all the films. So this is what so I'm saying. So you were on TV. Everybody saw so you. So no, it never, it never yeah. made TV because of my age. age. So somebody she else. She was supposed to be 16, yeah, to be but 16. she was 15, so they had to disqualify her. But the next day, she turned 16. What? So it was already. Well, I was locked up, so I couldn't really just do what I had to Damn. do. My the mama didn't, you know, yeah, my mother didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and they couldn't just 15. push you through and yeah, be like, okay, sign no. the papers tomorrow. And then I'm going to tell you what's and a little further, what's footage. even crazier. The next year, they changed it to where you could be 13 and up. Oh, no. dang. Uh, she wanted to fly. So you color. didn't go back and try nah, again? I you were pissed off. No, no, yeah, we did. Yeah, I you wasn't. did. Yeah, did. You you went to iPop, then you went back to American Idol. But this guess what they told her this time. Yeah, so I went and back to You again. already are uh, a uh, celebrity, so we you, know, <laughs> you can't so do it. They pulled me. Yeah. I, I actually cause the audition is not what people think it is on TV. You in a giant arena with probably 50 to 100,000 people Definitely. and they call you down to the arena floor by five and five people the judges are sitting here at the table and there's different booths set up with different producers and the producers pick you so I'm thinking I got picked I'm like okay we finna do this all over again but I'm at the age now so these people can't mess with me they put me to the back of a room and I'm thinking okay I'm finna sign the papers and I'm gonna have to call my daddy and let him know that you know we we we, we going to Hollywood you she this said thing. um how you doing sweetheart I said I'm doing you know I'm doing good I, huh, I'm doing amazing <laughs> she was like that's good you're not going I said so why I'm in this room well you already classified as a platinum recording artist and it wouldn't be fair for us to have you go and other people the regulars I say the regulars mm. So they looked you up as a platinum because you, because of Bar Baby because of Bar Baby. Put me in this room, giving me false hope again. I ain't ever. I'm not ever. So they didn't know that before for the the year before. They didn't no, know. they didn't do their research. To they didn't do their research. They didn't do their research. But this time they on top of their stuff. They on top they of their game. So I 
I got another invitation to uh, Austin Idol. You Never know, heard of that To one. pre-qualify you to go oh, American to Idol, okay. American Idol. So I walk in there, I'm all, you know, cute and fresh. I'm like, because, you know, the last time I did it, they told me that um, I didn't have cowgirl boots and shorts. And I wasn't with that. I had the, I didn't have the, the I had look. the sound, but I didn't have a look. Look. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to give y'all a look now. Y'all want me to come here like Diana Ross and watch this. Got her all cute. And I get up there and she goes, uh, Renetta? <laughs> I say, hi. Oh, Hi. Are you a judge? I say no. I'm a contestant. Why would why would you do that? <laughs> well, why wouldn't I do that? Y'all giving out free tickets to Hollywood. Why wouldn't I come <laughs> try to give a free ticket to Hollywood? You just, did it just, just like just that. Just stay right here, dude. Because this <laughs> gas is, is high at this point. You know, all I did tell me I'm a judge. No, I'm not judging nobody. Y'all can judge me. <laughs> she said, "Well, just stay right there." I said, "All right." Game back. We're gonna put a um, a table up here and a chair. What would you like to drink? I'm not. I ain't judging nobody. <laughs> I came here to sing. If y'all ain't gonna let me sing, I'm gonna go. I don't want to judge these. I mean, I, I, granted, they might sound good, but I don't want to judge these people. I'm here to secure they, my. And how old are you? Were se- when she should have judged. 17? No, at that time I was 24. Okay. See, she should have judged, and that still would have took her career further. Exactly, because people are not exactly who you was. That you wouldn't believe what these people have done to me again. I ain't, I'm not doing it no more. And after all of that, you still didn't give up. You went back at 24 to try to get in America. Well, they Island. invited me, so I thought they knew something I didn't know. <laughs> That's the reason why. I got, I got home, and I told my husband they wanted me to be a judge. Okay, somebody told me, okay, because you said the first year you, you won, mm-hmm. oh, but you got disqualified. Someone told me, I can't remember which um, person that was sitting in that seat. They said that they went, but... The final round to go to Hollywood. I can't remember if it was American. I think it was American Got Talent. We did that too. They told me and yep. Daddy that we had the we had the voice, but we Eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> Eclipse. And he said that what he said. He Eclipse said that this. what had happened is that um, before you go to the final round, mm-hmm. you have to sign a contract, and the contract is like almost like you're signing to a label. Yeah, you're right, signing right, right. for like you know, five years. Yeah, but like who wants to do that? Like at that point, he didn't want to do that before you go. And it gets technical. It gets and if you don't sign it, you can't get year. to go. Yeah, I and did I'm it like, on that's purpose. That's crazy. And like, yeah, they don't give you no yeah, lawyer or anything. They purpose. just want you to sit there and sign it. On like, no, no baby, my attorney got it because I'm not right. going to just put my name on this dotted line for five line. years. I might not own my masters and or, or American Idol on every album that I put out. After this, no, no. Mm-mm. Because how many successful singers or actors or anybody, you know, acts that come from these shows that you know? I can think about Fantasia. Fantasia, Jennifer Hudson, Five. and Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Nobody else. Wow. Yeah, yeah, no, I've, been, I've been waiting on that question. <laughs> yeah, but what happened to that yeah. guy? Um, you remember Daughtry? Daughtry, what's that guy's name? You remember that? Ruben Studdard. They took yeah. all his Ruben, money. Ruben they took all his money. Yeah, Ruben did. Kind of. I'm mad. He I'm mad at Ruben him. Ruben Stutter said, "I'll tell you something. Jennifer Hudson almost, Jennifer Hudson almost shot. lost her momentum. It's like if I it wasn't for Queen Latifah, them, you remember that song? Yeah, damn, it's the one for her I'm sorry. Acting. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like she should. Like because Jennifer Hudson, but Fantasia was always my number one at yeah, that point. Fantasia. I loved Fantasia. Man, please. that shoe kicking she off. She shouldn't have won that year when she won. It was a girl that came up second that should have won that thing. Whatever happened to that other girl? I don't Remember know what happened to her. She, she was up. Year. This she, she got picked up. Because that wasn't that so was the last year to, that yeah, I You don't have to really year. just win. If you sing it and you in that, in that five She was runoff. number two. Yeah, but see, from, mm-hmm. she both from, won that. Yeah, I can't see her face, but I can't remember her name. Number one to five, most of them get signed anyway. Really? Well, Fantasia is the one with the most soul and the most. She was the blackest. You don't want me to know. Yeah. Hey, hey, that that is hard. <laughs> Did I tell you she was a character? I like people like that. Did I tell you she was a character? That's hell. I told you. Okay, like do you practice could, sounding like people at the house all the time? Sometimes I think my favorite, one, well, my husband's favorite one. He be laughing is uh. Is who? But baby, what's that song I be singing? Uh, woke up this morning with a letter that she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so wild? Because <laughs> cause you make it sound good. You mess yeah, playing and with she, it. And she, she just do it all I'll the time. I be messing with him like, oh, I got another voice I learned today. You want to hear it? And I showed it to him. He said, you got to be kidding me. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I got yeah. So we're talking about Fantasia, but if you had um, to pick her acting as somebody else, like an older singer, older, you know, somebody else, who would you, you put her with? Like I somebody's can, been there, I'm done be, that. And, and people don't understand why I say this because I got asked this question before. Tina Turner. That's exactly who I was thinking. Tina. I was thinking. The lady with they the had a uh-huh. voice. And Fantasia can mimic her like no other. Exactly. That's exactly she who I thought about. She might not look like a book. I promise you, that's who I thought about. Mm-hmm. I can see her going off and the way how she'd be dancing and mm-hmm. everything. That energy. Think about that. Yeah. That's my Fantasia voice. And, and, and that's, and, that's and what you got to have nowadays mm-hmm. on stage. You got to have energy. People want to see something that she they don't did, see a lot. She did one song before. Uh, mm-hmm. that left a good job in the city. Mm-hmm. Working for the she man did every yeah. night and day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. And it sounded beautiful doing it. It, it was like a perfect match. Some songs she do is off the chain. And some you Love just it. have to like, it's got to grow to I'm life. so happy for her because she went through, when, it, when you listen to her um, she story, went some drama. Mm-hmm. and she went through her drama, but I love the mm-hmm. fact that she the way she's married and she's happy with her kids and yeah. everything. I, I just love, love that. I love it. Mm-hmm. Everybody yeah. deserves a little see, love. And it's just like you. Life. You're happy and you love what you do. And y'all hashtag goals. And see, look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Both of them look. Look at this face. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's everything and more. I would never change it for the world. God, thank you. Because I did write a letter for this woman, but I should have been more specific. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. We all should have been. Baby, did you write a letter for me? Now. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> now, my husband stalked me in high school. I remember you telling uh, us that. Uh, yeah. we, we definitely... um. When, when when I think about y'all, I just think about the hardest singers that been on my microphone, man. Hey. When you hit that Patty LaBelle at that. Oh, I still play that still all play. the time. What? Oh, she hit all the time. Oh, I, I drive, I, yours, I, I pull it up and I play. I, when I say play it, I put it on my story on YouTube all the time. I just keep putting them up. Yours that, and that here. Patty, my Both song. of them. I just keep putting mm-hmm. them things up. I, I put them up. I be in the kitchen with the spoon. I be on it. That Patty everything. You know, the one thing I can say about y'all too, man, is y'all y'all blessed us so many uh, times coming down here. That DFW, I, I'm never going to forget it. And I got that, I believe, I just paid $700 to get that footage back. I told you that. It was yeah. 12 terabytes that I lost. Man. What? Yeah, and it had that, that night we was out and all that. All right. that was on there. Y'all oh, went out man. without me too. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking about when y'all did the DFW pop up. So I gotta oh, get that. Okay. She, was get on, yeah, she was yeah, about to get on. She was about to get on you. I saw that. Yeah. I saw so so I just, I just gotta get that footage like back. And when I do, me. oh my God, man. I'm gonna be so happy because I gotta go through. I, they already told me I, they charged me for it, so I know they're gonna get it back to me. But it wasn't cheap. They, because they I charge lose. it for, but they can get it back. Go ahead. So. I would love to recognize Mr. Ronnie Spencer. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, Boss Talk Podcast 101. Oh, my goodness. He yeah. got you an award. Oh. And it says, presented to Mr. Ronnie Spencer in recognition for your outstanding contribution in the music and entertainment industry for Man. so many years, <laughs> making hits after hits, such as the UGK One Day and many, many more. Oh, 2022. You gonna cry? You know I'm man, emotional. That's I cry dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's hot. That's I don't know what to say. I'm speaking. Well, congratulations, Dad. Hey. <laughs> look, look at it. What? Yeah, this is this is hot. This is this is man. Dope, dope, dope. <laughs> look at this, you. It's another plant add to the studio. What this is that? Hey, man. You, you didn't cry, sugar. Man. <laughs> What up, Pimp? Uh-huh. We still, hey. still doing it, Pimp in three. <laughs> Mama West. Long live. Mama B, we still getting plats for that song. Look at that. Long live. Man. Man. Do y'all see one day, UGK, one day under that? That's just not for me. That's for the whole UGK family. Man, hold up. And yes. the world. Man. I That's what I'm talking that. about, man. Yeah. I, almost, I almost tried to hit the note, but you know I can't do it like you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. yeah, can you hit his notes? Yeah, she can. Hey, no. She steals them all the time. No, it's only one note that I can hit to a T. Which one and is which it? Which one is that? The daddy be doing. And me and my husband, which, we be. Which we one, one is it, Devontae? That's it. You be hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, she steal them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm proud she's stealing because it's a hard note to hit. 
Mm. Yeah. I think you like can the only person no I can't. I can't mimic. You like you. You about the only person. You gonna keep trying though. I'm gonna get him one day. <laughs> she, 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 no she, pun intended. She, she get them all. She get them all the time. She hit them notes all the time. She, you know, and I'm glad. You know, I tell all the time. Try to mimic as many artists as you can because everybody sing is a technique. Most people don't think that it's a breath technique that you have to understand to do. So you have to listen. Wow. And when you learn that, you can do a lot of stuff. You know, I do a lot of Marvin Gaye stuff, Al Green. Yeah, he made me a bunch you know, of people. Uh, a lot of people, you know. Uh, he made me some old schools. Because I listen to it. You know, sometimes a lot of females. What's your favorite Al, Al Green that don't look so sad? That's a, everything Al, Al is like wrong. Ah, everything oh, oh, like that's it right like, there. That's it. I'm so in love with you. That's it. That's it. Well, no, it's, I mean, all of them, I like Al's stuff. Uh, he have a graspy voice that, like, I, yeah, you know. <laughs> love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You're in the laughs> <laughs> You know what that was on, right? Did you hear that though? Yeah. On my show, you know, I found out what that was. That patent. Mm -hmm. You thought? What did you think it was? Let me see. For me, when he was patent, like when that patent happened, what do you think it was? That was his uh, hand. His hand I on think his his hand. No, no, no. What, what is it? It was uh, the crates. And they, oh, it was a crate. Saw, it was at, at Willie Milton's Willie yeah, Mitchell studio. studio. It they told that story on here. Uh, uh, I think it it's was, Sir Charles. Was it, it Sir Charles? It, it, it wasn't Sir Charles. LJ. It was no, uh, it was uh, Stone Mecca. Stone. Okay. And he said that he was they it, that they still in that studio they keep they everything the and, and they yeah, still got that, that same crate. crate that he used <laughs> that he to pat used. his feet on when he did that song. Right, I see, it's, it's like <laughs> sound ever. No, like I guess like those. They said when you go to that studio, you Alice. can almost feel the spirits yeah. of everybody yeah. who's That's been in that studio. That. Yeah. I need to go to that studio. The yeah, it's they in, say that. You, everybody can Alabama. feel it. No, where's it at? It was in Alabama. Know. I look it up. In the south. I need to go there so I can get but some see, of the spirits from the great. No, I promise you, everybody's been there. Said that same. Call that album Spirit. Sir Charles Jones said that, and Stone Mecca. Both of them talked about it. And if you go on my page, you'll see why both of them was in here at different times. Right, talking about that studio. Oh yeah. Daddy, see, this is where I got go. ball caps and tennis shoes from, really? Al Green. Wow. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people don't know that. Really? That yeah. He hit that note, too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I, I listen to Love and Happiness. Let me hear that. Love Give it to me. I listen to Love and Happiness for like a week because no, no D asked me to do ball caps and tennis shoes. So mm. I had to listen to Al so I can kind of study him. So, so it's like, you know, when Love and Happiness come on, it's like, Love and happiness. Something wanna make you do wrong, make you do right. Mm -hmm. Love. I got you. No, no worries. I got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, love, love, love and happiness. happiness. Hey, <laughs> I love Something it. going wrong, man. Someone's on the phone. Mm. Three o'clock in the morning. What time? Yeah. <laughs> talking about that she can make it right. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. See, that's why Man, I got you know that. So the part that, where in ball caps and tissues would say, "Hey, hey," that's a yeah. green note. Wow, that's crazy. And it's like, man, he he blew my mind earlier. What did he do? When he told me about that fat pet. Oh man, Wait, I didn't. I didn't realize that he it was him. It messed my head up because I thought about peeping it. me. Oh, peeping me. I got to tell you about the story <laughs> about peeping me. So this morning, you know, we was going to check on tires and stuff for the car. And your grandbaby was in the car, and it was the dude on the side of the Jaguar. I ain't hear it, though. She kept saying, that's Papa. So I said, girl, that is not your Papa. I think she talking about the man. She looked at me again. Mom, that's Papa. I said, baby, that is not your grandfather. He don't even look like your grandfather. <laughs> baby, that ain't him. Man, open the door. Why you still peeping me? See, mom, I told you. <laughs> she heard, she heard, man, her. The man she heard, heard her. Say, that's your that. Papa? She heard it. Yep. I say that, that's my daughter. So your daddy, Ronnie Spencer? Yeah. 
Wow, that's crazy. Man, that's she heard dope. that. Yeah, I'm sitting there, baby. It is her not, hearing not my is so good. She can hear it. She, she can fooled hear. me. I had to turn around and say, I'm sorry, baby. You, you see right? this young lady that interviewed hey, me today? How you doing? Mm-hmm. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Can, you, can you tell them about the song we're going to do? Oh, oh, y'all finna Oh, we don't, we don't keep too? that under wraps. We don't keep that under wraps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want the people. You know, there's a lot of people. We got over 80,000 subscribers. Well, well, we I feel you. It's, a, it's yeah. that element of surprise. Yeah, we want to shock them. So the you, you the old schools do? don't know yeah, about that element yeah, of surprise. Oh, y'all, this the deal here. This the deal. Yeah. Once you say it, it's done. Oh, yeah. Okay, verbal, okay, verbal, yeah, yeah, verbal yeah, yeah, contract. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. delivered. It's on. We're going to do it? We're going to do it. Gonna do it for sure. Man, so I see what she said. She said she's gonna do it somewhere around the Spencer. So, hey, yeah, yeah, this is what we, we don't allow. We don't, we don't allow. We don't, we don't, we don't, that's the real. Legends, so, no, that's you know, real. See, we don't see, allow on boss talk one on one. You know, on the same line. All my life. Verbal, verbal contracts. All my life. All your life. All my life. All my life. I had to fight. Gotcha. All my life. You gotta come to Houston, y'all. It's a done deal. We gotta come anyway. We always go. So, but I gotta say come. one more thing. Hold on. Don't right. think. Um, I, st- I, st- I think I got another surprise. Okay. Let's see. Oh, And this surprise oh, says yeah. presented yeah. to Renetta Spencer. Oh. Lord. My God, yes. <laughs> In recognition for being a megastar <laughs> at a young age. Yes. Creating hits after hits, starting with. Bar baby, Bar baby. then evolved in such a soulful hip hop artist. Oh. 2022. I'm, I'm I'm strong. I don't cry, I don't cry no more. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm a big uh, I love y'all. Boss Talk 101 with a boss is tall, to, man. Shout gotta, out to all of my up. Bar Baby fans and RIP to Big Mo, man. Look at That's that. That's right, that is. That's it, man. Look That's at love, who man. just who man. who just celebrated his birthday, if I'm not mistaken, last week was Big Big Mo. He had a heavenly birthday. Wow. Aww. Man, I know Good y'all used to, y'all get y'all get I know y'all get I'm a still, lot of different things. I'm man. still getting but people Talk, calling me to do a Big Mo song. For real? Boss Talk today. is 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 uh, this, man, and shout out you know what, shout out to Flip too, because I just redid Bar just, Baby with Lil Flip. So exactly. shout out to Lil Flip. Did, wow. it. Yeah, redid. Flip did and it's off the change. For real. Mm. Yes. When yeah. is that coming out? It's already it's out. It's already out. 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 We in You now. hit that old thing. Yeah, we in there. I yeah. gave him the grown woman. I already know you mm. did. Yeah, she gave him the grown run. You know, and, and Flip is so humble right now and, and he on top of his game. I got much respect for him right now. Big he shout is out to Flip. Really on his game. Flip, I love you. Keep doing what you're doing because you is the boss, bro. Man, boss talk 101. What a boss's talk, man. Hey. I want to get, yeah, give me, I want to, I want a little conversation with my Brittany Loso. Y'all don't understand who Brittany Loso is. Go back and watch that Boosie. Uh, gone bad. Uh-huh. She was the host hey, on there. Let me tell you something. No, no, she I was just, the host on there. She was the host. Yeah, she was the host. I heard some of her music. I didn't know she, she was the host. Oh, yeah, she, she so heard the whole time with, with her and Boosie. And, and my boy, I was supposed to I got to do something with Boosie, man. Boosie, I'll change. <laughs> Wipe me down. Wipe me down. I got it. Hey, 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 Sleeping on the floor. <laughs> yeah, on the floor. <laughs> yeah, so, Loso. Brittany Loso in the building, man. You know, I was, I just couldn't miss out on an opportunity to let you sit in the presence of these two great, Absolutely. great. M- hey, listen, father and daughter. They don't happen often. And I, 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 and, and I made, I made, I, I made sure to wait to have. My oh, girl Renetta yeah. hit this solo for you. Uh-huh. I don't oh know goodness. what she gonna pick. Oh, it could be spiritual. It could be, but she gonna give you something nice. You know, I mean, the she, it could be. It could be. It to me all day. I know she, that Pat and the Bell. You know, <laughs> what you know. she sing to you? Let me see. What does she sing to you? What she gonna sing to me? I don't know. I don't know what she bell child gonna go hard. Let's go. Some R and B. Let me see. I'm gonna have to do my my check. My check. My check. My check. There was an old candy-coated Valentine Memories when you were mine A tarnished ring on a tarnished chest Time 
keeps changing Come sun or rain Long as I live Long as I live You'll be my first love Man! You will always be my first love Let's see if I can do it, Daddy Long as I Long as I live Be my first love. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. My only love. Man, man oh love. <laughs> what? Boss talk what a what a boss talk. Yeah. Don't be cloudy, man. You don't see my eyes. Hey, hey, I'm yeah, I just put it. I put you in the mix of the. Hey, mm-hmm. run down and run it here. Man. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know what? See, y'all start something. So I'm going to get a people something. Let's go. Let's I'm going to get a people something. Is a, this is the other side of running. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Let's you know. Go. And this it's going to be on, since you're so blessed, mm-hmm. it's going to be on the gospel tip. Hey, let's Come get on. it. Okay. I got your so, background. Y'all, y- I got your background. It's going to be on the gospel tip. All right. That's it, there. Okay. Y'all ready for this? You sure you ready for this? Let's okay, go. here you go. All the flowers that blooms in May, a lovely sunset at the end of a day, someone to count on, a stranger along the way, mm, that's heaven to me, whoa, I see the feeling I get when I hear a touching prayer. It lets me know that the Lord is somewhere. Now even the birds fly around in the air. That's Mm, heaven to me. me. Man, that's what I'm talking about. We in here doing our thing, man. Oh so goodness. that's why we, that's why Boss Talk 101 going to win, y'all. Because we get it in, y'all. <laughs> no, for real. And, and, I sung, and, 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 I, and I sung that with a cold. I have a cold. Man, it's oh all love, goodness. man. You've been killing it all day, man. That's what I'm they talking about. They both killing it. Listen, like, I mean, to sing a Kiki Wise song. But, 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 but your song to go to Kiki. And all the songs. Man. And then the run. Song. Oh my God. Then the run. Let me put my shoes on. Get the, huh? <laughs> but her song is totally different. Don't ask me totally can I sing no more. No. You know, I, I, hey, hey, these folks make people quit singing, don't they? Uh, uh, my song is really quit singing. I'm done singing, man. Well, her sing. soul is totally different from mm. mine because she can go hard in the gospel field. A lot of people don't know that. Mm. Yeah. I started she, off. And, and, I started with, with the church. Right. Where was the she music one of the songs? One of the main songs. You know the one, His Eyes is on a Sparrow. Nope. Oh. They Who gave me it? the hardest songs in the world. Oh my goodness. Yolanda Adams. Oh, that ain't Alone that, in the room. Sing, sing one of them. Sing one of them. She might have to stand let up me, for that. Let me get there. Let me get there. She even hit that thing. Quiet. Quiet on the set. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go yet. No, yeah, this is just. Y'all, y'all, y'all got to hear this. I'm going to be the first person, of course. Every time she sings this, people join the church. No, you might make me sing the whole song. But, okay, I got a question, though. But when you sitting down, you I know, usually get in trouble for No, when you sit down, you don't give as much as when you stand up. Because like when I sit down. If she down stand there, up. And when you did this and you went back. And you oh, that was heavy. Yeah. 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 If I would have stood up. Yeah, if I would have stood up. Come on, let's oh, get it. it. Yeah. Y'all messing my stuff. Y'all stand up. Y'all got to be up? quiet. Nah, man. Dad, I'm sitting down and do it. I've been practicing. <laughs> y'all hear it now. Y'all messing my stuff. Y'all got to be quiet in here. Yeah. Oh, talk to me. Oh, talk to me. Alone in a room, it's just me and you. I feel so lost Cause I don't know what to do Now what if I choose The wrong thing to do I'm so afraid Afraid of disappointing you So I need to talk to you And ask you for your guidance Especially today When my mind feels so cloudy Lord, guide me until I'm sure 
And that's why I open up my heart. Oh, yes, I do. Well, we keep going. Man. <laughs> my hopes and dreams. Hey. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. Are fading Keep fast. going, girl. Yeah. Come on, come on. I'm all burned out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think my strength's gonna last. Mm-mm-mm. So I'm crying now. Who you crying out to? Let's go, let's go. I'm crying now Ooh. to you. And I know you're the only one who is able to pull me through so guide me until I'm sure and I ask you for your guidance especially today when my mind feels so cloudy Lord guide me until I'm sure and that's why I open up my heart. Oh, yes, I do. So show me how to do things your way. Don't let me make the same mistakes over and over again. And your will be done, and I'll be the one to make, make sure, sure that everything's is right. And I will, oh, I will this time. I just want to talk to you. <laughs> yes, I do. And I'll ask you for your guidance, especially today when my mind feels so cloudy. Lord, guide me until I'm sure. And that's how I, that's how I open up, I open up, open up my heart to you, to you. You're the mother of my soul, the captain of my sea. I need a word from you, one word. One word from you. That's why I open up. I open my eyes. Man, oh love. Shout out to oh, Nelly. Let's see what you should put on. I don't know. Not for fun you. Not too bad. You used to be one. Not for fun you. That's right. Oh, he used you to be one. Well, okay. Yeah, he used yeah. to be a bishop. Yeah, yeah. no. Real bishop. He be preaching too. You know I need to word. I, I, I don't, he be preaching. Don't, he be preaching. Have preach preach you ever talked to him? Yeah. And he I don't. He don't realize it. He no, don't realize it. You be talking talk. or you be preaching? No, I talk. I mean, yeah, that's you. right. I just think that I, I don't put a title on nothing mm-hmm. because I feel yeah. like a lot of time title and position don't guarantee productivity. Boom. So that's I true. basically but just talk about God, and I feel like it's something that should be a way of life. So I try not to put it in no traditional way to where people can categorize it. It got to be a way that we live right. Right. the things that we walk the things that we do on a daily basis, a daily basis. don't put it in a box <laughs> that's where you mess up at yeah. you yeah. take the power away from it mm-hmm. and see, a lot of people don't know they say well hey you sound like the Isaac brothers well the Isaac brothers did gospel I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure you know mm-hmm. they got a song I love that they sing it's called Turn on the Demon Mm. And it is off the chain. I feel like and every. I listen to it pretty much every night before I go to bed. Yeah, I that's kind of like I me and I feel like Nita. every black person started in the church. Most yeah. of the powerful ones have. Most I, of I them. Would, I would say. At least most 90. Of them. I would say Penny, 90. Aretha well, R. Kelly, he started in the church. Yeah. Yeah. Whitney Ross, Bush uh, I mean, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Houston. Uh, every. Mom and Stella, Usher, Shaka Usher, Khan. Usher, yep. That's Aretha real. Franklin. Hey, the mail got kicked at the. The church choir because she had Tina she Turner. Was Tina Turner. You know, y'all seen the movie Ray? You see what he was doing? He changed the whole thing. Mm-hmm. He was, brought the church. He, yeah, he took to the, the rhythm. Mm-hmm. To the rhythm. Boy. Oh, that was demon music. That was devil the music. Sacrilegious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's mm-hmm. right. That's right. Let me ask you this. Uh, why don't you get them? Uh, you got you got a chance to mess with these two a little bit. You know Give them the Britney I'm not going to let them go the without Brittany we Loso. vibe. Let's go. You know, I vibe with both of them. Give them something. Yes. Mess with okay. them a little bit. So, father, daughter, mm-hmm. dynamic duo, right? So, I got to get getting to see how y'all think and how it is. How was it like Uh-oh. being able to have your dad like, give you direction? Or, you know, when you were doing a music thing, have him, like, was he like, whoosh? Like, was he like Joe Jackson? No, or no, was no he, like, he wasn't Joe Jackson. What was he? Um, he, he now, 
he wasn't Joe Jackson, but he was strict and he still is. Uh -huh. And he don't play about the craft. Um, we didn't, we didn't uh, go in the studio and waste time. So I got to the point where I could go to the studio now because uh -huh. of being younger, understanding that you paying for this time. Yeah. I can go in the studio now in two hours and lay four songs. Okay, so you showing out right there with the, four, with the two hours and four songs. That's yeah. just like I crazy. think I shocked my husband because my husband That's paid crazy. for the studio time and I went She's in there incredible. and knocked out. What okay. was it? Two or three songs? Uh, it was three. Three because we did. And still had that, time to sit down and talk. That is, that is Cause, cause crazy. Him, like, he got you He got you basically trained up to where you could go in there, knock it out, and get done with it. Yeah, the, the thing before we even got out the car was time is money. Okay. Well, you know, things go on. I'm going to get both of your perspective on this. Mm -hmm. Say that fast, Rebecca. Perspective, perspective. Okay, perspective on this. So, recently, you know, Ice Spices... Thought the I was much. The nigga how much. All right. So recently, it was said that she canceled. So she had a single that went off, and she canceled some shows. She was getting paid three thousand dollars for her shows before, and she canceled the shows because the song took off and went viral to get more money for her shows. As a artist and as well as your dad, like if you were managing, like what should advice should she went with? You think it was okay for her to cancel those shows? She agreed to, or do you think you know she should have you know? Still honored those shows, but miss out on some bags. Okay, so I'm big on fans. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe your fans make you. Mm -hmm. You right. nothing without them. So if you promising your fan in the city that has paid money to come and get a ticket, mm -hmm. then who's to say by you canceling that show mm -hmm. from those fans yeah. that you just canceled your bigger bag? Because the other people get wind of that. Yeah. I'm not going to her show because she canceled. a perfect example. We went to a Summer Walker show. Mm -hmm. She didn't perform the way we thought she should have performed. Mm -hmm. Her next show came to Houston, mm -hmm. and it was, it, nobody came. Mm. So sometimes you can't mess up your present mm -hmm. trying to go to your future. It's called a future for a reason. Secure your present and secure your bag now so you can get greater things in the future. Don't get big-headed before your time. That's crazy. So, right. Ronnie, what would you say? Agree? I, I say pretty much the same thing, but it's like fans would make you. Most people think radio make you, radio. Uh, the band make you, uh, background singers make you. No, the fans, because you can do a song and it might sound good to you, but mm -hmm. it might not sound good to the fans. Right. Fans always going to pick the song that you never thought on the album that'll make it, and that would be the song that make your career. Okay. So fans are very important in the music you industry. Don't do nothing to piss them off. Fans are important <laughs> in anything that you do. Mm -hmm. They the ones. It don't have merch, to be music. It can song. be like her husband drive cars. But if he win all the time, well, them people gonna come to see him win. Mm -hmm. If he don't show up and they know he's supposed to be there, then it can damage his career. Right. Okay. So that's saying? some good so advice. It's like she's right. You know, I would show up. I have showed up at. At, at two shows people in and audience. two people in the audience, <laughs> and you gonna give them the I give the them the whole them show, the best show in, mm -hmm. of their life, and them two and people you know gonna what? go back and tell and, somebody and else. Them and two post people, it. them two people is that's the best thing ever happened to them at that particular time because yep. they got a chance to see me perform the whole show, it not mean, just one song. Just you know, you say, "Well, I'm gonna sing one song because ain't nobody in here." That's crazy. Yeah, I would say. No, I wouldn't do that. I would definitely probably told her like, "Hey, we are gonna get these three. The, uh, the price is low. We are gonna go ahead and since we committed to that, and it's important to be about your word. If you say you're gonna do it, do it That's because right. the world That's is so small. Your Especially your industry. Mess up. A lot of artists mess up nowadays because they get big headed before they time. And it's just one don't song. Do exactly. don't do you that. just got one song. Like you got a long way to go. It's a long right. game. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Do I, I think I think a lot of times. Them likes and bite, them lights and them views got mm -hmm. these niggas confused. Got them right. heads. Yeah. <laughs> I'ma tell you them say likes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> say that one more time. I said yeah. them likes and them views got these niggas confused. And some of them are <laughs> <smart. laughs> you know a big red like, on the like thing. Ain't real no way. One thing Ronnie Smith don't right. do, I don't buy no like numbers, nah, it's no genuine, likes. baby. Every, yeah. Everything yeah. you're yeah. supposed to do it's is genuine. Is straight That's boss numbers. talk one on one YouTube going up Absolutely. twelve thousand a month. Let's play, man. Let's do it, man. I ain't trying to cap, but I'm so blessed That's to right. be able to. Uh, People loving it, and mm -hmm. it's not an easy algorithm to break either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it hard work. Yeah, and, and I thank God that that you people like God first. I ain't yeah. finna spend five dollars okay. for no views. I'm sorry, that's a person. <laughs> no, so, I, so I heard that. some of your. I heard stupid. now, Brandon. I heard some of your raps. Okay, uh -oh. you now talented. She's singing. 
She, she got the flizzo. Yeah. Okay, and just really go, like really go hard. I love so, when I hear so artists. So you telling me she got the plug? She got the plug. Hey, you got the plug. I'll be trying. You know, Man. you know how trying you doing. So you know, recently Lotto got into it with Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen and that. it was. I hate to see this. I really yeah, do. I don't like to see. And Lotto calling Nicki old and saying she play out and all this. Nicki like, yo, listen, like. I ain't never done what you're doing. Stop it. You know, I, I recently... When, 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 when idols turn to rivals, how you feel about that? I re, man, look, it's funny you bring that up. I recently actually tweeted mm. underneath the thread to both of them. And said, Nikki, well, y'all stop I this, sure sis. Did. And basically what I said was, Nikki, you an icon. Everybody got their season and it's okay with that. Yeah. It's just okay. Yeah. That's how life is designed. Right. Let the younger girls get to your point. Yeah. They got to get there, they but it ain't easy. There. It might not be your season no more, but you are icon now. Yeah, right. you so made it. Now you need to be on an iconic level. You don't see Beyonce out here addressing everybody. Ariana Grande. But you know what? I don't see nobody she going. Icon. No, but I also don't see nobody going after Beyonce either. A lot of times, she ain't gave him a reason to. But even when they did, she didn't. When she Carrie, didn't reply. When she didn't. She didn't. She, she never didn't, responded. She never she responded because she knows she icon. She already. icon. Yeah. She Why does she need that to status? But she don't need yeah. to do that. the same Janet thing. Janet Jackson, though, icon. They reach, once they reach that status, you know. It, but I would expect they, Nikki to they respond. Don't, That's just the way Nikki. Like is. Nikki is Sagittarius, she like me. We gonna say something, and I feel like. When Nikki you have it's like these she younger artists she are different. Respond. The younger artists are different. Yeah. They don't re younger generation in general. They're it, not they. taught to respect their yeah, elders or the yeah, ones that right. open the doors right. of the you know, so they kinda like no, busting no, in the door. That's why I like Rihanna. She's an icon, but she don't she come with you. Well, I'm gonna tell you to, something. You know? Rihanna for the yeah. island. She everybody knows she about that life. Bad girl. She not finna play with nobody. What's well, said in Jamaica? It, they call well, it, said it the Navy. What's well, said in Jamaica to her? What's well, said in Jamaica to her? Did that bad girl Riri now? They know not to come for that beautiful queen. I'm but, a Rihanna. Don't come for me. I sent know. for you. Well, I'm just I'm being real with y'all. I just feel like you know Nikki is having a hard time. You know I'm a straight up Nikki Minaj fan. Yeah, I'm. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm like I'm sorry. All I'm gonna say is I know that you know she's having a tough time dealing with things from this point. Mm -hmm. She she papered up. She ain't tripping. Yeah, yeah but then she, she still wanna she still wanna you know get out here and say something every now. Yeah, and then. just and like when she talking like whoa, you yeah. know. Yeah, somebody yeah, just like, my album. That's a publicity. That's yeah. a it's I so say. crazy Somebody because it was all over It's just like boss talk, you know, that small talk to them icons. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to stoop to that level. Not until, level. until it's not. So, you know, like right now, it's not, it may, it's still, hold on, it is what it is, okay? $100 in your hand, same 100 in my hand. I put that $100 in the trash can, it's still $100. So, it's just where that's, that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, no, it's not a problem until when boss out, when we're talking about different things, and then it's, it's going against the ones that are already doing it. When you're going against the bigger right. pocket, now, oh, now that weight of the, those words they're saying and keeping it real, now it's a yeah. problem. But we, mm. they'll be able to go back to day one. But that's what yeah. I'm saying. saying the same I, thing. I think I she's, think a I, I still say that she's, hey man, she is who she is. And uh, right. mm -hmm. I'm going to be real with you. She's, I, both of them successful. Here we go again. Yeah. Man, I, I, all I, these people are successful. To all of them. I'm yeah. trying to be icon yeah. too. ain't got nothing else to do but just to get on Twitter and get in the blog. But it we, ain't about money be because too, ain't we? when you I'm think about it, living. Listen, when Meek, <laughs> when she had issues with her, Meek's breakup uh -huh. with her Mariah boyfriend. Carey. Her boyfriend was doing stuff, you know, as far as uh, her husband mm -hmm. uh, had these different, I'm talking about Nicki Minaj. Uh, okay. yeah. When mm -hmm. you start looking at these things, she never, she wasn't the one to back down to any of it. So uh -huh. I just no. don't see her being even, that Like type. I said, even when yeah. she was she on a speak. judge for marriage, she she go, when she went off her mind. Jennifer Lopez. So she's not for the play. Not, so yeah. I don't Damn. act like this something new. But she's from the island. I hear it. She from the islands too. So she definitely I mean, is. They you know, <laughs> so these are the, this is what's going on. So we need to know from the people. Like we are talking about these. We need to know what y'all think. Also, okay. Yeah. So we need y'all to comment. Now, all it started over was Nikki was like, "Yo, Grammys, let me know that my song has moved from a hip hop song to the pop." pop. Yeah. And she's like, "Well, if my song is pop, then why why isn't her song pop?" 
because she got hip hop song which with the Mariah Carey mix, and I'm like, okay, that is kind of pop too to me also. But oh, she's man. just saying put it on. But but if she's in the same category, she will win that. So she was talking about the musical tycoons did, behind it to, and I, all I of that. I think I'm gonna disagree with why they need to be in the same category, and I'm gonna tell you why. The deliverance was different. Lotto came hard on Big Energy. Gutter. Gotcha. Nicki Minaj came pop. She came. Up, up. She did a bubble gum. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. she came pop. So but, I mean. But yeah, and I think it's just always it's some. It's always a. I'm a conspiracy like Man. always with the conspiracies. So this is why she got the job. You see how she doing? Yeah, she I love it. I love it. Yeah. Look at me on my toes. Yes. So when you guys, when he was talking earlier about you guys doing some music together, y'all got a lot of songs. You were waiting on time. And what exactly you guys waiting on? Because when you're doing something that hasn't been done, when is the time to do it? Now. Oh, I think. Okay. I think when we record them songs. We was way ahead of our time. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff we did is man. I got we call them songs. lab experiments. We, and my daughter got over two thousand songs just in the computer and mixed and mouse. Just, oh wow! I got a so, little bit more than that now. Um, we record every day, pretty much. I did for at least ten years straight. So okay, it's like and when I did you, for it, about it, four get, years. It get old to you, but it's new to the public because yep. they never heard it. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. You feel what I'm saying? So once I got over that step, so now I'm just ready to do videos and just drop singles. Yeah, that's okay. basically what So, Renette, I asked earlier, I asked Ronnie what artists he would like to work with. And so I would like to ask you to put it out there so we can get the energy of the fruition Are you putting a there. number on it? Or? I, I'm going to give you three. Okay. I'm going to give you three okay. artists now Man. that you would like to be able to work with on like another this next project or you could be able to work with it right now if I could call them up right now. We doing three R&B or three rap? Whichever one you want to do. All right, look. You pick. My three R&B artists, you already know my top one. Patty LaBelle. I'm going to do a song with Patty LaBelle. Yeah, you know did what? you hear her sing that Patty LaBelle? I, Kitty? I, no, did you hear I, her? I'm going to do me a song. She got that Patty LaBelle. What? Patty I'm gonna, off the chain. Give, give her a little bit I'm of that Patty. I'm going to kick my shoes off. Watch this. Watch this. She good at it, though. Bro, watch this. Oh, if only you knew how much I do, I do love you. If only you knew how much I do, I do love you. I need you to um call. I need to be able to have your voice, but me. <laughs> Let's go. Me on the screen. Girl, I do. And yeah. I just want them to feel bad because oh, I can't even know what to yeah. And all I do is I point to the note. See, I point to the note that I was wanting to hit, and I just shake my hand and my finger. So, uh, man, I'm telling you, you know. singing is easy. You just got to do it every day. Oh, That's okay. it. Okay. Perfect the craft. So, Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. Who else we got? Angela Winbush. And I'm kind of mad because he already met her, but I'm going to do a song with her. Winbush, too. okay. Winbush off the chain. Do a song with Angela Winbush. And last but not least, Shaka Khan. Hey, oh, I'm an old sh- schooler. Sh- Let me rock sh- 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 I love that. I love that I love like a young shot. I got a feel for you. Yeah. Bow, 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 yeah. I think I love you. That's it right there, baby. Yeah. Shot off the chain. That used to go hard, man. Oh, no, that's my rap artist. You already know. Look him. I love Kim, Kim yes. fan for the oh, yes, yes. Now I'm back with the jump off. Yeah, she like La Kim. She Le imitated Kim. a lot. Of MC Ren. Daddy, you met MC Ren, right? I did a song with MC Ren. Yeah, I'm mm. gonna that's live. It's, do- it's called Voices to Compton. Okay. Voices MC Ren. Compton. Lil Kim and who else? <sighs> it's not because we from the same state. But Megan Thee Stallion. Got to do one with Meg. That's my girl. Man. Megan off the chain. I love Meg. My boy came in and he said when he listened to Meg, he, he turned to light, take his shirt off. <laughs> Megan Carlos off the chain. Miller. Yeah. Carlos I Miller. I love Carlos Megan. Miller. Carlos Miller. He take crazy. his shirt off. He can't even say, I, I said, Meg, I take my shirt hey, off. Like, what? Meg, if you are watching Boss Talk today, you need to get a song Let's with this queen. girl. If you hear her singing, y'all both from H-Town. She Let's got go the vocals. Queen. Let's go ahead and get this together. Have that, your people call my, my people. Have Ferris. You look, what we Come need to on, do? Ferris. Stop playing. Stop yeah. playing games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> man, we love y'all, man. Did we get everything? Man, we got everything, man. I appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate I'm, I'm y'all. looking forward to the music y'all gonna have coming. Okay, it's coming. make yeah. sure y'all. I'm gonna be doing music both of y'all. Okay, I'm gonna be. Oh, we locked in. All right, just lock in. in. She on the boss talk team. We didn't know so. I was on Facebook. Yes, go up after that. I promise. The price, the price of yesterday man, is not the price of today. She's on the boss it's talk. It's called 101. Yeah, yeah. Bam. It's, it's giving, it's giving boss out family. It's giving boss out one on one. It's giving realness. It's giving everything you want. Let's this talk is about a, it. This is one of the hottest talk shows, man. This thing man. is blazing over here, man. It's crazy because you know you just you pray about things and then you move toward them. Right. I, when I met this young lady, I told her that day, I was like, man, you, you need to be over here with us. Not really, just talking, because I know already she's you ambitious. Got that eye. Mm-hmm. I know she's dope. So I'm like, yeah, and mm-hmm. she ain't been tamper with when I say that about radio stations all that other stuff she need to be over here with us before she go because she gonna go places so that's she's just special just the way she the way she handles herself she got a lot of energy yeah 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 and that's the big love we get and she she asks a lot of nice Topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that star persona. Man. She's going to ask things she's asking. So that's man, good. thank y'all so much, man. We love y'all, man. Absolutely. I just did what nobody else has done in a long time. I put Run and Renetta on the same, same show. Father, Balls daughter. Talk 101. Yes. Father, daughter. The TikTok oh, need to go man. crazy. Run and Renetta. Show the man what to do on there. Get on there and yeah, one time you, with you, it. You, you, TikTok, you, one time. You, you hey, hey. I'm just oh, I don't want none of that. My daughter stay away from me with it. I don't I want it. I can't do that. The hip thing, just the. Hey, mm-hmm. the, I thought the little leg thing, y'all. Hell, man. You better sit down. Yes. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. Hey. Yeti. Hey.